town of Bethel here. Let's go down their little uh, walkway here. Little uh, bike park, BMX track, skateboard park. I think this little uh, road here. <laughs> Or bike path will take me. And I thought well, it would be cool to go underneath this thing. Not even all graffiti though. Cool. The Philbrook. Napa. Old Victorian house turned into a business, basically. Beautiful house. Well, it sounds pretty quaint like that. Well, these are uh, bed and breakfasts and things. Pretty cool. Bethel into back into the AT. I'm gonna get my picture in front of this. All right, up at the top of Bald Pit. It's kind of chilly up here. Whew. We are on the West Peak right now, so we got to go down a little bit through a beaver bog. And then Peak. So at least it's not raining on me. I'll take this over rain any day. But uh, yeah, Too bad we're not getting views today. It's supposed to be sunny tomorrow, the next day, so it should be pretty good. But that doesn't mean there's not gonna be clouds rolling through the tops of these hills, the mountains. I mean, all right. Straight up, straight down. Let's go, let's go get it. Right, can I actually get a ball paint East Peak 
when I come across campsites like this. How awesome would it be to be here tonight? Oh well. Makes me want to like not do my miles. <laughs> cool. I gotta get water at the next uh, site, so there's a parking lot up here too. Maybe I will get my water here. Big AT signs. Really telling us where to go. I love it. And it says north. Northbound. All right, things to think about. Get it all in there? All right. Let's keep going. About six more miles left for the day. All right, coming up to this, uh, call it Surplus Pond. Pretty nice. See if we can see any animal life out here. No. Sometimes on the banks you'll see some moose. But nothing. It's definitely a beaver. Right there. Some sorts. Yeah, pretty out here. About four and a half, five miles left, four and a half. And it's gonna be late when I get there, so it's a bummer. Let's see if uh, trying to arrange my resupply, my day off, and it's a Saturday, so of course the hostel doesn't have any spots left. And it's like four days ahead before so I was even trying to get it in. So that's a bummer. So hotel it is. And then, you know, obviously it's Saturday prices. So, oh, goodness. Oh, well. The AT. What are you going to do? You got to kind of know where you are weeks in advance. Yeah, right. Some people do. Or they'll just, you know, skip some miles and get up there. But, uh, more of a free range kind of guy. Just kind of go where it takes me. Go a little section. Should wrap right around this pond. But, um, yeah, the trail is crazy. It ended up looking actually like a real hiking trail here for a little bit kind of surprised it's not all rocky and well we're going over rocks right now but it's actual I don't know just seems like a real trail for once here's the road surplus pond road and the Appalachian Trail it's Bill Hill Road Nice campsite. How are you doing? Whew. All right. Well, here's a view of the day. Wow. She just set my tent up right here. This would be awesome. And I saw these uh, windmills way in the distance before. Now I'm getting so close to them. Well, just insane out there. All right, one and a half more miles. Let's go get it. All right, came up to the scenic view here. It's pretty scenic. 
Wow. All right. Barely got it to fit. Literally on an edge. Look at it. It's totally worth it. Just don't roll off the side of the mountain. That would suck. Hopefully my tent will save me, right? It's not too bad. Some of the leaves and stuff will catch me. But yeah, I like the inside. Got the view. All right, I gotta set up. It's getting dark.